My name is Rodrigo Krugner. I'm a research entomologist with the Agricultural Research Service. I study the biology and behavior of insect pests and associated natural enemies and how they interact with each other and the environment. At the moment, I'm working with insect pests that transmit a bacteria from plant to plant. Specifically, these are leaf hoppers that transmit a bacterium called Xylella fastidiosa which cause several disease in orchard crops in North, Central, and South America. I first learned about integrated pest management in college and quickly became fascinated about this ecologically based approach that relies uh, heavily on natural mortality factors such as natural enemies. Sadly, I also learned that a control of insect pests by natural enemies is not effective for all insect pest problems, specifically in agricultural landscapes dominated by single crops that last several years, like orchard crops. So, we still depend on alternative control actions to control insect pests. The two most powerful tools available for integrated pest management programs are natural enemies and insecticides. But using both simultaneously can be a challenge in some situations because natural enemies are sensitive to some chemicals. However, when control actions have to be adopted to prevent economic damage, it's important to know that most pest infestations can cause damage to the crop only during certain periods of the season. Similarly, natural enemies are also more effective in controlling pests at certain periods of the season. The very basic information needed before adopting control actions is knowing when the pest can damage the crop, when the natural enemies can damage the pest population, and when insecticides are more damaging to both pest and the natural enemy populations. Knowledge on only these three aspects can help make insecticides and natural enemies more compatible. For successful pest management, research is required to provide the information necessary to identify weak links in the pest biology and behavior, uh, which can be exploited in a management program. My general approach is to conduct fundamental and applied research to advance the basic understanding of the system. The major challenge in my research program is related to the complex nature of the system, which includes several species of pests and natural enemies and hundreds of plants that can be a host for both the pathogen and the pest. So that requires some level of multidisciplinary research, which is often conducted in collaboration with plant pathologists, weed scientists, and horticulturists. It has been about 15 years since I was first introduced to integrated pest management, and I'm still fascinated about it. It is extremely valuable, not only for farmers, but also field workers, the environment, and consumers. Although research-based pest management practice have been refined to more environmentally friendly techniques, there's still a lot of room for improvement in IPM. I think that uh, IPM is uh, extremely uh, necessary. We've learned in the past of all these uh, problems with insecticides, and uh, it's a very wise uh, way to manage pests. The problem is uh, it's not simple. It requires a lot of knowledge on the past biology behavior and knowledge on the, on the chemicals that you're using. And uh, not all farmers and growers and pest control advisors uh, have all that knowledge. So it's a, it's a challenge. We can't say, we can't go out there and say, it's hard, don't do it, it's complicated, and, and you can't do it. That way no one's gonna do it. So we gotta push and keep people, uh, have to somehow motivate people to do it. Not all of them will be successful, but at least if the majority tries, they will, re they will reduce the amount of chemicals they're putting out in the environment. And